ओके सो इट्स टाइम इट्स टाइम फॉर द मोस्ट अवेटेड ट्रांजिशन एवर और एक्चुअली द मोस्ट ओवर यूज ट्रांजिशन राइट नाउ बट येस आई वॉन्ट शो सम टिप्स टू मेक दिस ट्रांजिशन स्टैंड आउट फॉर यू गेस्ट टू यूज इन योर वीडियोज सो वट्स अप गाइस एम पिथल सैमी एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई वॉन्ट टेली गाइस अवर स्पीड रैम ट्रांजिशन और रैदर हाउ टू एक्चुअली इम्प्रूव योर स्पीड रैम ट्रांजिशन टू एक्चुअली स्टैंड आउट इन द क्राउड to add some additional efforts in a speed jump transition to make a better more seamless 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 transition in your videos so as you can see right now my environment for my studio is a bit changed i have just changed the angle of the lighting right now i changed the color of the lighting right here which was around this particular position but i changed the position to this particular area also i changed the color to neon uh, sorry i mean i have changed the color to tealish right now it was previously yellow but i changed the color to teal because i feel it will complement really well with my pink color or my violet pinkish color of my hello sign so that is one new thing in this particular video if you guys like this particular setup also if you guys like how i am talking right now i feel that i should be more fluent with you guys i should be more you know natural with you guys you guys are my community i feel that i should be more connected with you guys rather than just talking a scripted language or rather than just talking in front of camera just like this i should be more connected with you guys so this is my new way of talking i feel that i am very much more comfortable in this particular position so make sure if you guys like this particular setup and the way i talk right now so just leave a comment down below it actually matters a lot okay so i don't want to waste anyone's time right now i know your time is precious what you are doing right now so i want to just jump quickly into the video so i want to just say some of the tips to make your speed jumps stand out so before that i want to say what speed jumps actually is so if you are actually accustomed to all the travel videos right now speed jumping is one of the most essential or the crucial aspects in most of them so speed jumping is a part where some portions of the clip are sped up while some other portions of the clip a slow down and sometimes when the last portion of the first slip is sped up and the first portion of the last slip is sped up and both of them are joined together it makes a really cool transition which we call as a speed jump transition and in order to do speed jump transition i'm going to just show you an example with this particular camera as my main camera is there shooting right now so you know to just make a speed jump transition make sure to shoot the camera like this and in a second clip also make sure to shoot the camera like this or any other fashion maybe this way this way this way this way this way blah blah so in any of the fashions just speed up the ending and the first portion and you are good to go that is what the general sense for speed jumps are now there are some tips which i feel you should definitely know for making this particular effects more seamless and stand out in the crowd so the first and foremost being keep the direction same this is something i cannot stress enough keep the direction same for the videos make sure when your video for the first video if it's moving from left to right make sure for the second clip also it is moving from left to right as well don't just abruptly change the direction like this if it's moved from left to right don't change the direction for the second clip from up to down it will not look good it will not look seamless it will not look professional so make sure to keep the direction same and second tip second tip keep the environment same keep the colors same keep the tones same for both the clips make sure if the first clip is in a like a cool environment make sure the second clip is also in a cool environment make sure the first clip if it is in a dark position make sure the second clip is also in a dark position don't just abruptly change the lighting color tones anything because the more abruptly you change the colors and the direction and the environment the footage will not look good the speed ramp transition will happen of course it will happen but the transition will not look that much professional for example if you know this particular guy just see jeff dude i am sure you guys will like to know this particular guy he is an instagrammer who has been crushing out in his speed ramp transitions all together also keeping the story intact so if you just check this particular video which is this one or in the card above or in the link in the description So you guys will notice that he also stresses out a lot on the direction, and on the environment, and on the colors, and his transitions are actually really seamless, which I feel is really amazing. And these are the following tips he actually followed, which I just said right now. So direction, color, environment, keep all of them same, and then your speed jump transition will look really good. Now in editing, which most of you will know how to do speed jump transition, it is pretty simple. I have also made some detailed tutorials on this, or in the card above, or in the link in the description. So just making this particular tutorial is pretty simple. Just in Final Cut Pro, press Shift plus H for making the first marker, and press Shift plus H again for placing the second marker, and then just 
drag it out or drag it down and it will, it will slow down and speed up the particular positions and also you can smoothen it out or just keep it flat as it is and for premiere pro also it is pretty simple just enable speed remapping and then after that use the pen tool to create the markers and speed it up and then smoothen this particular transitions more and that is how you do it in premiere pro and yes detailed transition tutorial up above for link in the description so check it out definitely so the major mass all the people who are there in the majority what they basically do is they just speed up the last portion and the first portion and then just the transition is done they don't do anything which i feel is really not professional so yes you need to just make it a little bit more seamless what you need to do is you need to add motion blurs you need to add distortions you need to add sound effects so yes, so you know to add motion blur. Motion blur is something which most of the people in the majority don't do. I don't know why they don't do. Maybe they're more lazy to do. Maybe they are fed up with doing so much editing that they don't do that extra portion, which can actually take their videos a lot, lot, lot better than anyone else out there. So motion blurs in Final Cut Pro also, it is pretty simple. Um, we and Nangal actually made a tutorial on this. I have also made a tutorial on this. Mark Webster made a tutorial on this. His one is a paid one, but I feel his ones are the best ones right now. My and Rhea Nangal's ones are free ones. So you guys can definitely check it out from there. The link in the description as well. So adding some motion blurs between the speed ramps can also make it look really good. And in Premiere Pro, you guys can definitely just import the particular footage in After Effects through the dynamic link and add motion blur. There is no inbuilt motion blur feature in premiere pro which i don't know why but you can definitely use after effects which i feel is a much better option distortions are something which is totally up to you if you guys want to distortions is basically stretching of the clip so what you guys basically should do or basically can do is that i basically learned this particular technique this stretching distortion technique from daniel schiffer's b-roll video okay so in final cut pro or in premiere pro distortions are a very simple thing just set a keyframe to the crop or to the distortion in final cut pro or in premiere pro and then just go to the ending of the clip make sure that it is only in the speed ramping area only don't do it on the first portion or the middle portion just do it on the last portion of the first clip and the first portion of the last clip so just set some distortions for the first keyframe set it normal and for the last keyframe which is at the ending of the first clip set the distortions a little bit high so when the speed ramp is happening it will look a little bit more better because the clip is stretching on its own it will look much more seamless along with the motion blur it will look really good and make sure to keep the direction or the distortion in the same direction of the speed ramp then it will look really good may don't make it abrupt if the speed ramp is moving from this to this don't make it from this to this in the form of distortions it will not look good so in order to show my example from my recent clip for my upcoming video so in this particular video i just shot one of my b-rolls for my upcoming video so for this particular thing, I just, I use this particular brush, I throw it up just like this and then I shot my video just like this, throw it up, pull it down. And for the second clip, I was just cleaning the lens. So I was just doing it just like this, you know, to get that shot, right? So after that, what I basically did was for the first clip, I just sped up the first portion a little bit and then I slowed down the middle portion where the brush was in the air, which I feel is a really climatic portion. And then after that, I'm going to speed the last portion just like this. And then for the second clip, I'm going to just speed up the first few frames and then slow down the rest of the portion, which as a result looks like this. And it actually looks really good because the environments are same, the direction is same. And then yes, the colors are same, the tones are same, everything is same. So that goes only the speed ramping portion. After that, I'm going to add motion blurs to this particular footage. I'm going to just use my own motion blur plugin for this. Just tag and drop it onto your footage. Make sure this particular plugin is applied at the last because it will actually slow down your computer a lot. So this is how the motion blur footage looks like. And this is how it looks like with the distortions on. And this is how it looks like with the color grading and the cinematic bars and the last portion and the last portion the final portion of this particular video is the sound design sound design is really important it can actually take your video from level 70 to level 99 on spot it can actually take a lot of difference and that one person to reach level 100 it actually depends on your story the better the story is the better the transition will be don't just abruptly make a transition make sure your story is intact then and only then your video will look good so yes, sound design. 
don't don't just add a wish transition or a shoes transition it is really outdated overrated too much used yes i'm going to make sure that you guys have ample amounts of option like that in my sound effects pad which you can definitely check it out so you can definitely add a little bit more kind of sound effects like a wind sound effect i used a focus sound effect beam sound effect one of my grl pad sound effects everything all at once and this is how it looks only with the music And this is how it looks with both of them together. Make sure your headphones are on because only then you can see all the ambient things and the folly and the background music. Then it look really good. So this is my final tips for the speed ramp transition. So let's recapitulate. So keep the direction same. Second, keep the environment same, color same, tone same. Third, add motion blurs, distortions, etc. Fourth, color grade, cinematic bars, etc. Fifth, sound design. Don't use the traditional whoosh and shoes sound effects. You can definitely use them. Add some muffled distortions and also all sorts of other effects, sound effects and all. Fat EQ, uh, blah, blah, compressor, decompressor, blah, blah, whatever they are but i feel that muffled sound actually makes a lot of difference so yes you can definitely use my pass my ambient sound effects pack wind sound effects focus sound effects beep sound effects general sound effects and all of them together will actually make a very very seamless speed drum transition so this is my final trick final rules for this particular video thank you so much guys i hope you guys like this particular video i hope you guys like the way i talked in this particular video i was really more fluent in talking to the camera rather than just scripting it out everything and just talking in, in a mechanical manner so i feel that i'm much more comfortable right now and thank you so much again for 30,000 subscribers i really not expected this to do it in the first one and a half years of my youtube career so thank you so much for everything everything and thank you so much and i'll be back with another new video and before that whatever you like in this particular video or if you have any kind of tips for me or to improve in this particular video or your suggestions for speed jump transitions drop a like and subscribe to the channel and comment down below what do you guys think of this particular video and what your comments are for this particular video if you have any kind of suggestions whatsoever so with that being said Thank you so much. This is Pizza Sammy and I'll be back with another video soon. Peace out.